Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today we're doing one of my favorite videos to film and upload which is showing you m many of my outgoing meals. Now that came out very weird but basically I uh, film a lot of projects that I make for uh, videos here on YouTube but I also sometimes, believe it or not, craft without a camera present and then I still um, make things that I want to share somehow and that is why I came up with these videos. So basically throughout the year, this is back in March, for example I uh, filmed little clips of mails I've sent to either subscribers, mainly subscribers, but sometimes also pen pals. This first one I'm showing you is made entirely out of Project Life cards, which you might have already guessed. I made a little accordion folder by gluing Project Life cards together, the same way I did uh, make my regular accordion folders. Um, there's a, a tutorial upon my channel if you like to see it. And I'm filling all of the pockets with different goodies. So, that's the first meal. Of course I had to include a couple washi tape stickers because... They are my favorite, and I will also talk you through the upcoming meals. doing something new. I normally mute all of the clips but I decided to leave some of the clips unmuted uh, because I personally love the sound of rustling papers and gift bags and the crinkle sounds. I don't know. Um, and I, for example, with this mail, happy mail that I sent to my pen pal Emilia, there's a lot of crinkle sound and I kind of like that. Sadly, I cannot do that for all the videos because I very often watch um, Netflix shows or I'm listening to music when I'm filming these. So some of them you're going to enjoy and uh, most of them not. Let me know if you like that. I mean, I like it, but maybe not everyone likes it. So this is one that I sent to my pen pal Amelia. Those are my meal tag replies, which is why I covered it up. I also, again, use Project Life cards here for that little flap <laughs> and then that's a little vellum envelope with goodies and that is my mail tag which holds my questions for her written on the back of a doily um, I don't really usually do these cluster thingies but I kind of like the way that looks and then all the way in the back is another pocket with project life cards goodness <laughs> no I just I uh, project life cards are super fun for making uh, meal tags or little notes or decorating and I know my pen pal also loves using these so I just included a couple that I thought would go nicely with the mail because all of the papers and most of the decorations I used are uh, Maggie Holmes which is a creator and I also have um, Project Life cards from Maggie Holmes so I thought I would gift her some. Then of course some more big die cuts and uh, sparkly shimmery things and stickers. I always forget to do this, but if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos twice a week, usually. I make my own happy meal videos, I make these kind of videos, and I also make meal opening videos, <laughs> which I personally really, really enjoy. Um, I also have an Instagram account, which you can follow if you like, and I have a Patreon. My Patreon account is mainly for people to help support my channel and get a little bit of behind the scenes. The There's a sneak peek tier, which means you get sneak peeks, and there's also a member tier, which means you join some kind of an online community. I call everyone the Craft Club members, and there's a monthly challenge with video that you can join. 
you can also join that when you're uh, in the sneak peek uh, tier <laughs> hint hint but um there is giveaways and i try to do extra videos and stuff like that so if you want to join links to everything are uh, down below now this is a happy meal that i sent out to leah in germany i also love doing these videos because with many mails i don't know if they have arrived or not and this like let's imagine some meal get get but some meal got lost and at least the recipient will still know that i sent something their way um this is a an envelope i made for my pen pal elia the meal that i sent funnily enough was last friday's video so if you want to see the meal that i'm going to show you in a second after i've shown you up close looks of the envelope if you want to see this meal right here um, being made and decorated and filled with goodies um watch last friday's video i think it's very very fun <laughs> and i made that that video after a croft club challenge as well where i um the challenge was to use thread or twine or anything of the sort so This is a little envelope, a little vellum envelope that went all the way to India, to Aliana. I do not know if that arrived. I have to admit, um, Mio has gone lost. Uh, Mio to India has gone lost for me before. So <laughs> I'm really hoping that it has arrived somehow. And what I did is I included a postcard that I wrote my message on and then to kind of cover up the message because vellum postcards are, gr I mean, vellum envelopes are great, but you can see the message through the envelope. I put Project Life cards um, so that you cannot read the note anymore. And then in between the uh, postcard and the Project Life cards, I put some vellum stickers. I mean, washi stickers, because yeah, they're my current obsession. And I sent it like that. This next envelope is one of my favorites I have done i forgot did we do this in a live stream i have a feeling we did i think i also did a um a instagram live stream one time right maybe this was what i made back then anyway this one went to canada and i always have trouble pronouncing your name but it went to sahara i hope i'm saying that correctly this next one went to the usa it went to puya I also, <laughs> I have to admit, I quite love that Happy Meal envelope uh, decorated with some Flow magazine cutouts. The letter writing paper I used is from La Papiere and it's a bunny on a scooter. I think that's absolutely adorable. Um, there are some other things I included in this meal. That's the form I just pulled out of the envelope. That's just the customs form. I have a little gift bag with little stickers. I have a wrapped package that contains a decorated project life card I, I seem to have a thing for project life cards in this video i have so many i need to use them but i love using them for all sorts of different things so decorated project life cards and then of course some other goodies so this one traveled all the way to the usa back in april Thank you. 
this is a project you might also recognize it's my different style new style i don't know um envelope flip book which i will link down below again i'm saying this often but that is one of my favorite projects of 2020. first of all excuse the messy desk that's just how i roll this is another outgoing envelope i think i sent all of these out in one go or at least in one month which was pretty incredible april was the month that we were in lockdown <laughs> march april and may and i made so much meal back in april it made me so happy this one went to franziska in germany um what you're seeing in the bottom that paper that's uh, paper i used to wrap my ring light with i'm sorry it's in the way <laughs> um what i made for her was a decorated a gift bag filled with goodies tape project life cards <laughs> washi tape stickers and some other little goodies another project you might recognize because we also made that on camera i think we did the envelope decorating in a live stream back then and the project i made in a video it was a flip book for my pen pal jenny if i'm not mistaken i know it's for my pen pal jenny i'm just trying to remember what the title of the video was but i will try to link that down below this is a little die that she sent me she doesn't have a die cutting machine so she sent me the typewriter die and i cut out a whole bunch of um, little typewriters for her so that she can still sort of use the die for happy mail that is another envelope i sent out this one went to the netherlands to marissa um i decorated that with paper a wax seal a stamp and also a little tea bag cut out that's the tea bag that i cut it from it it was then back then it was my favorite tea it still kind of is so i also decided to use it for decorating and then of course include one for her to drink this is a little bag of sequins who doesn't love little bags of sequins <laughs> and then some other goodies i included were another um little decorated project life card i also made those in the stream in case you're wondering i'm now like uploading all of the meals that i made back in april or may or march even and um that was the lockdown period and during the lockdown period we did a weekly live stream if i'm not mistaken or once every two weeks or something i don't even remember but I did a whole lot of live streams and we did a lot of projects such as decorating envelopes and decorating project life cards and making a little flip book and stuff like that um, just to kind of keep everyone connected and calm and a little bit happy hopefully during those crazy lockdown periods um, so that was back then I haven't done a live stream since I mean I have done live streams but only over on patreon uh, with my patrons so if you want to see more live streams then you can join the patreon i don't do live streams that often because it sounds kind of weird but it's very tiring and i always uh i'm always a little bit nervous when i do live streams even though i've done so many during the lockdown period 
I haven't done that many, but I want to get back into it because it's quite a lot of fun to craft with like-minded people and everyone is like sending me pictures of what they are crafting while watching me craft, which is absolutely insane. But I'm probably going to focus on Patreon for a little bit. I'm editing this video on Thursday, but I'm actually planning on doing a live stream Thursday evening for Patreon. Sorry, but sorry I'm talking about Patreon so often, but I know that in order to grow, I sometimes need to promote my things more. So follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, on Patreon, all that stuff, and I will see you again very soon. I hope you liked this video. Let me know your favorite meal in a comment down below if you like. And don't forget to use the hashtag the paper letter blog over on Instagram if something inspired you. Okay, I will see you again soon. Big, big thank you to my Patreons displayed here on screen. And I will talk to you again in the next one. Bye bye.